Hello everyone. My name is Gaurav Agrawal and in this video we are going to learn about PPC peering in AWS. If you have still not subscribed to the channel then please subscribe the same. I have already created multiple videos on real world AWS projects and will be creating more such interesting videos. For example for the understanding of PPC peering Let's take a real world example. Let's say you are working on a big enterprise like a bank. And in a bank, there are multiple teams working on different departments. Let's say there is a saving account team and there is a credit card team. And these teams have created their own networks, also called as VPCs, to isolate and secure their resources. So the savings account team has created one network with a private and a public subnet and the credit card team has created a single private network with their applications running on a EC2 instance. Now the credit card team wants to sell credit card to the existing customer. So the, the applications which are running in their VPC have a requirement to connect the applications which are running in the savings account network and by default VPCs don't communicate with each other so there is a requirement to enable connectivity between this these two VPCs so technically subnets within a VPC can communicate with each other but VPCs cannot communicate by each other by default. And to enable this communication, we need to do something called as PPC peering. We need to create a peering connection between these two VPCs for the communication to work correctly. So, what we are going to do is, as part of this project, we are going to create two VPCs in our account. In the first VPC, we will create a public subnet with one EC2 instance. In the second VPC, we will create a private subnet with one EC2 instance. And we will create a VPC peering connection and then we will do a SSH into the public subnet EC2 instance and then verify that we are able to connect to the second VPC. So let's quickly do a hands-on of this exercise to get a better understanding. Log in to your AWS account and type VPC in the search bar. I'm already on the VPC dashboard and you will see that there is already one default VPC which is present. I will create two new VPCs. Select VPC and more option. In the first VPC, I will say the name as first. I will give the CIDR block as 10.0.1.0 slash 24. This will have 256 IPs in my VPC. And I will create, I will use one availability zone. I want one public subnet and zero private subnets and I don't need a NAND gateway nor do I need a S3 gateway. I will make all of these selections and create my VPC. We need to create one more VPC with a private subnet. So I will go back into your VPC section, click on create VPC, VPC and more. I will give it a name as second. VPC, then instead of one, I will say two here, and then my cider block will be 24. I have created another VPC. I want one availability zone. I don't want any public subnets in the second VPC, and I want one private subnet and no S3 gateway. And this should be good enough for us. Let's create the second VPC. 
Now, what we will do is we will create EC2 instances in both of these VPCs. I went to the VPCs link and did a refresh here. So I have this first VPC and second VPC got created. Now let's create EC2 instances in both of these VPCs. Type EC2 here in the search bar and open it in a new tab. I've already opened it over here and I am on the launch instance theme. I will give this EC2 a name a first. EC2, I will give this a name as a first and I will select Amazon Linux E2 Micro and you need to select a EC2 key pair. Remember that we will need to do a SSH. So if we have, if you don't have a key pair, then use the PEM file for creating your, your a key. And when you, once you create it, then it will download one part of the key on your system. You will need to open that file and you will need to copy the contents later. So, but remember to use the .pem format for creating the key pair. Now, I will edit the network settings and I will select my VPC. Let's do a refresh here to get the latest VPC. I will use the first VPC and I will use the public subnets, public subnet in that VPC. I will select this one. I want to assign a public IP to this, enable this, and I want to create a security group with SSH. So this is good enough for us. And let's launch the instance. Now we will create a second instance, go to launch instance. And this instance we are going to create in the second VPC. I will give it a name second. Amazon Linux T2 Micro key pair will be my same key pair that I have used before. I will edit the network settings. And I will now select the second VPC over here. And there is only one subnet, private subnet. I will select that. We don't need a public IP for this because it is in private subnet. And I want to use SSH, etc. So let's launch the instance. Now go back to your instances tab and you will see your two instances which are in running state. Let's connect to the first instant via SSH. Now we will need to copy the PEM file or the private, the EC2 key pair file so that we can SSH into the private instance. I've already opened my PEM file over here. I will copy this and here I will do vi ec 2 pem enter and I press I button to insert and control V. This will copy the contents and control, escape colon WQ to save this file. So your the PEM file got created. We need to do a change mod 400 on this key file to change the permissions. Now, if you try to do a SSH to the private instance, which is present in the second VPC, then it is not going to work. So let's go back to our instances tab and get the private IP of our second instance. Go back here and say SSH minus I, the name of the PEM file, then the username EC2 hyphen user at the rate to a paste. Yeah. And this is not going to work because the VPCs are not connected with each other. So this command is not going to work. Now we will go back into the VPC tab and we will create a VPC peering connection. Here, click on this particular link and let's create a peering connection. Give this a name VPC peering. And you have to select what is your requester VPC, which is my first VPC. And it is in the same account in the same region. 
and what is my other VPC? I will select second VPC. Now let's just say create VPC peering connection. So this got created. Now we need it will give you a warning here pending acceptance. So here in the actions tab, you say accept the request. So now this part is done. So you will see another message from here that your peering connection has been established. But to send and receive traffic, you must add a route to the peered VPC. So here we need to add a route between your routing table. So what we will do is let's close this and we there is a section called as route tables here. So let's click on this particular section. You will see the routing tables over here and the ones that we are interested in is, are the two routing tables. The first VPC public routing table and second VPC private routing table. Now we need to ensure that these two has a route between each other. I will select this one. I will go under the route section and here you are seeing two routes. I go into the edit routes and we are going to add a new route. So this we need to add the route to our second VPC which has a CIDR of 10.0.2.0 slash 24 okay select this and the target is a peering connection okay select peering connection and it will show us our peering connection select this and save the change so we have now created a route to the second vpc okay now go back to the route table then select our second VPC route, go to the route section, edit routes and here we need to create a route to our first VPC. Click at route, say 10.0. Now this is 1.0 slash 24 and my target is a peering connection which is this one and save the changes. Now this routing is in place. Let's go back and see whether now we are able to connect to our private instance. So the last time we did without peering, it failed. We got a connection timeout. Now I will do the same thing. And you will see that it is trying to establish a connection and it is asking you, are you sure you want to connect? I will say yes and see I am able to log in into my second EC2 instance present in the second VPC. So this way VPC peering work, it allows your instances to communicate with each other which are in different VPCs. So that's all for this particular video. Don't forget to terminate the EC2 instances and to delete the VPC. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video. Thank you.